What are examples of condensation? Have you ever wondered why your cold soda can sweats on a hot day, or why your car windows get all foggy in the morning? These are just a few examples of a process called condensation. Condensation happens when water vapor in the air changes from a gas to a liquid. This usually occurs when warm air, which is full of water vapor, cools down. As the air cools, the water molecules slow down and come together to form droplets of water. One common example is when you have a cold drink on a warm day. The outside of the can or bottle will start to sweat because the warm air around it contains water vapor that condenses on the cooler surface of the drink. Another example is dew. In the morning, you might see tiny droplets of water on leaves and grass. This is because the warmer air from the day before cools down overnight, causing the water vapor to condense into these droplets. Fog is also a result of condensation. When you breathe out on a cold day, you can see fog forming in front of you. This is because the warm air from your breath contains water vapor that quickly condenses into tiny droplets when it meets the cold air. Clouds are a large-scale example of condensation. They form when warm air rises and cools down in the atmosphere, causing the water vapor to condense into droplets or even ice crystals. These droplets then gather around dust particles in the air, creating the clouds we see. Even the mirror in your bathroom can show condensation. After a warm shower, the mirror fogs up because the warm water vapor in the air hits the cooler surface of the mirror and condenses into tiny water droplets. When you get into your car on a chilly morning, you might notice the windshield is foggy. This is because the warm air from your breath and body heat meets the cooler windshield, causing the water vapor to condense into fog. These examples show how condensation is an everyday process that we encounter in various forms, from the smallest droplets of dew to the vast clouds in the sky.